for the last three years. Then we've got the defending champion, Lee Chong Wei, in the men's singles in a repeat of last year's final against Du Peng Yu. So the next match, the number five seed, Wang Yi Han, the 2011 world champion and winner here in 2010 up against the newly crowned 18-year-old world champion. Number two seed, Rachanuk Intanon. Well, Sina Newell won this title here last year. She's out of this year's tournament, but she's still top of the race to the Super Series finals. Just to remind you, of course, that this list compiled purely from Super Series tournaments, and it is the top eight players who will qualify for those Super Series finals in Kuala Lumpur in December. Wang Yi Han, 25 years of age now, born in Shanghai. Arachanuk Intanon, 18 years of age. 18 years, six months, six days when she won the world title in Guangzhou. Beat the Olympic champion in the final. Well, she had a bit of a struggle yesterday, did Arachanuk against Idriko Hirose. So Wang Yi Han, winner three years ago in 2010 here was in three consecutive finals because she reached the final in 2009, lost out to Tina Bount, and was runner-up again in 2011. World ranking number five at the moment, spent a total of 118 weeks as world number one, though. And as you can see from her win-loss records, fairly good in that she's won three titles, one semi-final, but she's also lost three times in the first round, which means that she's had very mixed results so far this year. Now, when you look at her matches so far in the tournament, the thing that stands out to me is the fact that she hasn't played against a seeded player so far, because, of course, the left-handed Bei Yongju from Korea beat last year's beaten finalist Juliana Schenk in the last 16, and therefore Bei Yongju had to play the quarter-final against Wang Yi Han. So to the world number two, the new world champion, Rachanuk Intanon. Semi-finalist here two years ago, lost out to her opponent of today. And her win-loss record for the year is very impressive. Well, 27 and 5, I can tell you, translates into seven tournaments, reached five finals, winning three titles. But perhaps most importantly, she's won the last three tournaments that she's played, including, of course, the World Championships. Now, I was telling you it was a bit of a battle yesterday against Iriko Hirose of Japan. Dropped the second game. Very, very close at opening game it had been too. Over the hour mark for that. Now, that's not going to make <laughs> Thailand fans too happy, is it? It's rather ominous. And not only has Arachino Kintanon never beaten Wang Yi Han, she's only once taken a game off her. Last time they met, of course, was over a year ago. And I think we can safely say from that quarter-final encounter at the China Masters that this young lady has improved considerably. Now, it is a little bit concerning to me that she seems to have her left Achilles heavily strapped. 
no sign of injury problems yesterday, but it was a hard-fought match. And, of course, for Rachnok Intanon, this is her first tournament since the World Championships. She picked up a couple of injuries in the interim period. In fact, she injured her foot during the World Championships, but still managed to win the gold me medal. She's had a back All injury right. since as well. Rachnok Intanon, Thailand. On my left, Yang Wang, China. Rachanak Itanon to serve. Love all. Play. One thing, Jim, is certain in my mind that if the world champion wants to beat her predecessor as far as world titles is concerned, she's going to have to up her intensity and her pace from yesterday's match. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, if she plays the way she played yesterday, then she's not going to win this match. So um, she has to be more ready for, 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 for more battle here. Uh, one of the reasons is... Uh, Talked about who also didn't have that many weapons, uh, but uh, Wang Jihan has more weapons, and you can say, as we saw, I know that she has improved quite a, uh, a lot at Ratanak, but there is just sometimes as a player, there's your nemesis, you know, um, you don't like to play against. You know, 6 0 is. I'll sleep on way about that, and <laughs> exactly, <Lindan. laughs> exactly, yeah, so, so, um. There must be something in, in maybe in Wang Jihan's game that doesn't really suit her. Um, Two, one. And maybe there's something in Ratchanok's game that Wang Jihan thinks is, you know, that's exactly how I like it. Yeah. seen uh, from the beginning here that Ratchanak some of the, the shots I think she's using quite a lot the round the hit cross uh, the straight smash uh, Wang Chan knows they're coming and it's you know the shuttle is going to come back uh, a lot and, and and therefore she has to be you know more a little bit more patient Lovely. There's also, of course, the scenario that you were talking about in the mixed doubles with the Indonesian Two, pair. Three. Now that they are world champions, how do they follow on from that? How do they do they feel the pressure, or does it give them confidence? Similar questions yeah, asked here. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's an old quote saying, "It's cold at the top." <laughs> you know. Um, Top of the mountain, I think you're saying it's, 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 it's just that's how it is now. It's everybody's gunning for her, and therefore, the, she will be studied. She will that will be every participating country in the world of will have video on her. And there's not a match where you say Wang Chang can go in now. No, she can play freely, she's playing the world champion, you know, she has no pressure. So, so maybe her game is just uh, oh, oh, yes. oh, oh, my god. Goodness. Well, the line judge saying unsighted. I think the line judge probably thought it was too close to call. The umpire has made the call, and I'm really not convinced that she's made the right decision. Oof. That was in, wasn't that it? That was in, yeah. That was a very, very good shot. Yeah. Jihan controlling the game. She's setting the pace. 
She not giving Ratchanok the time. She constantly putting her under pressure. She doesn't give her time at any point in the rally where she can come in with her very, very good technique and these disguise shots that she has. Like that, exactly. That's so good. And that's, that's what Wang Jian has to be, you know, I think she has to be very careful. She shouldn't take that battle uh, where, where Ratchanak is in balance. We saw it yesterday as well. As soon as she's in control, she has too many shot selections. And her game plan should be to, to, to up the pace and then force Ratchanak in to hit out of balance. Um, I know that's easier said than done, but this will happen. We saw that now she's not doing that. Um, Six, angles out of nothing I think that's what's so delightful to watch apart from the, the lovely hit hitting action it's so yeah. relaxed but suddenly she comes up with a shot that you know even as a spectator you, you wouldn't contemplate playing I mean it's sort no. of expect the unexpected yeah She's playing it too, Rachana. You know, the smashes are to her. The, 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 the drive she's trying to force is... See, look, that is straight to Rachana. And that's, you know... That's not going to work. She had a much better start where she forced her around. Because, you know, she made the call big. Just delightful. We talked about that shot yesterday, didn't we? I know you've mentioned it already today, but that round the head shot where she can clip it now creates such an angle. Yeah. And then she had that straight smash as well, so yeah. very difficult to defend her from round the head side. This is a run of six straight points. That's the one that's seven off. straight points. Ten, five. And it does look exactly the same. I was just watching that again as she played it straight. You, you really can't tell and which way it's coming. No. There's nothing different in her preparation for the stroke. Oh. And that's good. And, and that's the thing. That's, that, I think that's Rasenak's strength. If 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 her opponent is not feeling secure and is, is afraid of playing to the lines and you know making the call big, then she's just she's just too good. So you she's forcing her opponents to really use the call. Where you know the the closer you place to the line, the the more often you see mistakes. Yeah, and that one from Arachana, reverse slice, took an awful lot of pace off. And that in itself created problems. There it is, look at that rapid head just sort of wrapping itself around the shuttle. 
มันชอบมารอให้เตะตัดแบบเตี้ยใช่ไหมรอดักจังหวะดิเมย์อย่าออกตัวก่อนมันเตี้ยมากแบ็คแฮนด์เกี่ยวก็ได้เกี่ยวมั่งก็ฟาดมั่งก็ได้ใช่ป่ะเออเร็วๆเกี่ยวลงเร็วๆฟาดมั่งแต่เอาข้ามนะอย่าไปใกล้เน็ตนะเข้าใจป่ะอย่าไปใกล้เน็ตนะยาวๆหน่อยยาวๆเดี๋ยวมันก็ดึงมาให้เมย์ตบดึงผักให้เมย์ตบหรือมันหยอดมันหยอดมาเมย์ก็ไปหลังหยอดมาก็ไปหลังใช่ไหมไอ้ยี่เออเออชัตเตอร์จากที่อยู่ในคอร์ดมิสฮิตขึ้นมาแล้วก็ตีที่ทายแลนด์ค้าชนในหัวโค้ชเล่นนิดหนึ่งเป็นความสนุกสนุกสำหรับคุณจิมจิมเล่นเป็นสิบปลีForcing opponents to feel yeah. they've got to go for it. Yeah. And not using the court properly. So oh, that was going out. Out. Right. But see, Wang Chang playing straight to Ratchet now. That's, That's nice. Much better. I mean, as a as a coach, you presumably say to your singles players, you can't expect to hit winners off a high serve. You've got to build the rally. You've got to work the rally first. Get your opponent out of position before you go for your winner. And there she is. But she's controlling the game totally. Yeah. You know, it's Wang Jihan running. That's better. And that's what's you know. I think I saw some of that yesterday when Hirosa played uh, Ratanag as well. You know, if you can kind of force her to play those, those especially from the ho forehand side, deep in the forehand side, keep forcing her down there, maybe twice, and then just wait for that hard drive that she uses a lot, and then move her from there. Um, See, that's the hard one, and again, see, that's much better. <laughs> Maybe she listened, uh, but <laughs> you, you see, instead of where most players we saw Hiroshi yesterday, every time Ratchanak is hitting that one there, she was going cross, and then Ratchanak was coming up to a backhand side and doing tricks from there. Instead of Yerang Jian played her down to that corner again. Um, so a much better option. See if she keeps building up to that forehand side, and she opens up, of course, for for going to the backhand side.
Well, that's been called out. What? No. Well, no. I guess it's one all on that. <laughs> How can... Goodness me. Yeah. That said, I'd hate to be a line judge. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. They have such a difficult job, they really do. Ah! That's definitely out, no question that time. 13 40. Forehand again. Mm, back and level I think now. The, I think the more we, I think we will see more and more of that. The more, you know, after her, that we will see the players use that side of the court on Ratchanog more and more, especially because she's so effective around the around the head side. Um, Going for the forehand side again, so 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 she actually and, and it's, I'm not saying 50, it's very important. It, it's, she's not. It's not that she doesn't have any good shots from the forehand. It's just that she's so much better around the head. She can play that cross shot and she can play that straight smash, which is almost impossible to defend because you have to cover both. I, I think she has less weapons from the forehand side, especially deep in the forehand side. Oh, it's been a total shift in momentum, hasn't it? Wang Yi Han has now won eight of the last nine points. I see again. So she's keeping the Rang Chang is keeping it in the forehand side. 16, 40. Seven thirteen down. Ten of eleven points. Certainly yeah, helped also by a bad call. It, yeah, but yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. We have to yeah. remember that one. But she also, you see, lost one on the side. So that I think that's that's a draw on that. Uh, it's going wide. Oh, she's taking it. A racket head here. Yeah. So she creates the disguise. We need more slow on that one <laughs> to see <Yeah>. it. <laughs> slow, slow play. See. It's, it's very uh, you know. She's using the forehand side mm. again. And right now, it, it kind of irritates and frustrates uh, 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 Ratchanak because she wants to, of course, have the shuttle in the place where she knows her best shots are, and Wang Jahan is not giving him that chance. She has to create the chance herself, as she did here with the good service of the turn. A 
the ball. Her coach. Think back to that World Championship final, Jim. 12-19 down in the opening game was this young lady. <laughs> yeah. Say three game points. She will always have that mm. six story to look back at when she's behind. in this we can control them Isn't it? Yeah. That was a nervous looking net shot from Wang Yi Han. Nineteen or Opportunity has come to Wangi Han. as cool as you like 20 all Game point opportunity for Wang Yi Han. the skill to do it but the courage to do that yeah, but the funny thing is you can almost see on Wang Jihan she knows it's coming but still too good yeah she, she just yeah a little bit naughty there she yeah, trying pointed to call hoping hoping that might influence the line judge there's no way that was out 21 all Saved two game points now. 
a world champion and has a game point herself. 21. Yeah, her first opportunity. She converts. Well, in the World Championship final against the Olympic champion, she had to save three game points here in the semi-final of the Denmark Open. Only had to save the two. 23 points in one scoreline. Mei Fa is a good player. Mei Fa is a ฟาดปุ๊บลูกสองดักไปอย่างอีกทีนึงซ้ายขวาก็ได้ใช่มันซ้ายขวาไม่เร็วแล้วแต่มันแงะมาต่างๆให้เมฆฟาดตลอดใ
But for Wang Yi Han, I mean, former world number one, Olympic silver medalist, former world champion. You look at her results this year, and I was talking about the fact that three times she's lost in the first round of tournaments. That's three Super Series tournaments she's lost the first round. The Korean in all England and the Indonesian. So there's three premiers that we've had so far this year prior to this Denmark Open. Wang Yihan has lost it in the first round. Yeah. And that, to me, it just exemplifies how women's singles has developed. There are far more players now that are real threats. You know, we, we, we used to look at the draw and say, well, you know, which of the s Chinese women's singles players are going to win this week? It's no longer the case. The well, we also used to see Chinese, player, uh, Chinese players winning because they would get the shuttle over again and again and again. Mm. And you can just see that we have other countries learn from it and say, we need to do the same and then we need to do some more. Yeah. Uh, it's not all about, you know, fatigue and and, mm. uh, and just, it's it, tactical uh, skills like this, like we see yeah. on Chart, is coming into play now. Yeah. And it's, that's what's changed the game. But I'm... I'm pretty sure we are. We will see within the next couple of years that that will come out uh, some Chinese girls that has that as well. Five, four. I'm not that convinced. No. No. Uh, they will have some very good women's singles players, yeah. Don't doubt that at all. But I think that... Well, I wouldn't be surprised if women's singles over the next five to ten years is Six, not dominated by one nation. I th and I'm, I'm not saying this dominant. I didn't say this. No, no, no. Dominate. I'm I know. just going to say we're going to see a different type of players coming out. I can't see China just... Is standing back and, s and watching um, a, a player like Ratchanok winning on the things she's winning on without them being able to go back and say, oh, uh, wait on a minute. <laughs> What's happening here? You know, you, you, you see players learning from other players and countries learning from other countries. What do we need to do? We've seen it in... in uh, uh, oh. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I... I fully endorse and understand what you're saying. I think that the whole Seven, mentality, four. though, of uh, other nations have looked at the Chinese now for the last decade and a half, probably, and said exactly what you've said. They get it back. They get it back. Strong. They're, they're strong, physically very fit. And everybody's said, OK, for the next generation that we're bringing up in our country, we have to give them more than that. Yeah. And therefore, we've seen players like Ratchanuk come in with these just glorious skills. And, mm -hmm. you know, you look at the Indian youngsters, there's players from Taipei, a whole host of good young women singles players from Japan as well. You know, now, to change the Chinese generation of how they bring them up, you've got to start looking at the 16-year-olds to change the coaching. Yeah. So whether that happens within the next five years, I have my doubts. You can be right. <laughs> you can be right. But I'm just very sure of that's what they're yeah. looking at. Oh, uh, of uh, course. It, um, because I think I think it's it's past that time where you can just win a lady single by going and say, okay, I'm just going to be strong and, you know, yeah. what can you do with this? Yeah. You know, this is the future. It doesn't matter how fit you are, whatever. If you can't do shots like this, you're not going to Exactly. Gonna exactly. And it's the same as the development in the women's doubles. Exactly, we I was were just going to say that before. It, it's no longer any good just to get it back. You have to be able to attack. You've got to be able to read the game. You've got to have the skills that when you do come forward in the doubles that you can finish it off. It's a very, very exciting time for badminton. It is. Especially in the women's game. Yeah. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> You cannot be serious. This is magnificent. And, and, and Monjans is not playing bad. This is no. playing really well. Ten, four, Seven eight. straight points.
Yeah. She's at full stretch. Gets back up and then plays the most extraordinary winner. But it's, I'm, I'm just really, really glad to see that 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 we. Uh, I've always wondered, you know, when are we going to see a girl come in with some of these disguise shots, you know, at the mm. net, and you know, somebody who can hold it and do a little bit more like we've seen them in in, in the men's singles. And then I can only say it looks like it has arrived now. Yeah. And I've always been wondering, you know, that's such a big. Uh, what can you say? benefit of having these shots and you can win so much on, on doing it that look it, why, yeah. why why haven't anybody been doing it I think part of the answer to that is that we've been blinkered by looking at the physicality of the Chinese players that we as coaches haven't realised that actually you've got to develop the skills more than the physical side Looked a little flat to me. <laughs> yeah, you think she's in trouble. You think the shuffle's gone past her. Yeah, she's still got the racket head control and the skills to play a winner. And you need to understand, it's not a bad shot by Wang Jian. No. You know? Well, that's the thing. It's not a bad shot. Everything she's doing is what she normally will and probably has been doing in the first six wins against Rachana. There's just been, can you say, a plan from Thailand and from Rachana. Where do we want to go? What do we, we want to develop into? And we're seeing the product of that now. Yeah, that's nice. Oh. Little thing of her own. Seven thirty. Oh, yes, it's good. Good job. Good job.
short. Yeah. Ah! No. Much better one like John. But you see, <laughs> it's kind of like now she's realized it's this just running around, playing it around is not enough. She's got to take the net, she's got to be up and creating stuff. Technical. <laughs> yeah, go on. I, I would say if you look at a lot of the Chin Ch Chinese players, the way they, uh, especially uh, mostly the girls, uh, uh, the way they hold the racket, they hold it a little bit in a, is the panhandle? Can yes. you say that? You know, yeah. just a little. And, and I'm not saying it's totally wrong, but it is very much if you want to hit with power all the time. Um, which is, you can see, it's it's more designed for power. Where you can see Ratchanak is holding it more like in the other direction, so she can get these this guy's shots in and and have use more fingers in her shots than at the net. Um, it's a more elusive grip yeah, altogether, isn't exactly, it? Yeah. Ratchanak. Where, where the you know the the the, 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 the grip that Wang Chang is using, I think if you took all the lady singles in uh, in, in China, you would see them hold it like that. Yeah. You can see how loose, how she can wait all the time, Ratchana. But you see, that's what you've just been talking about emphasizes my point that I think don't, I'm not convinced the Chinese can suddenly change the whole style and development of their young up-and-coming up women singles players because they do all hold the racket like that. Yeah. It's not conducive to the, no. to the disguised skills. So you've got to start with a whole new generation. Yeah. And, you know, you're looking at over five years to develop that new it generation. Is a, it, it is a culture change. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and I'm not saying... Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Chinese uh, winning <laughs> next yeah. year. And, and uh, um, I'm just saying that I think, and I hope, because I really enjoy watching the other part, uh, um, I think it's moving more that you see those type like Ratchanok. Yeah, the skill forward. base. Yeah. Yeah, because as you were saying, it's an extra dimension because all the players now are very fit. There yeah. was a time when it was only the Chinese players that were yeah. extremely fit and agile and fast yeah. around the court. All the top women singles players are, are equally fit and fast yeah. now. So you've got to find something extra. And I don't know who's oh. been coaching in Thailand, but whoever it is has done a wonderful, wonderful job because it's not just Ratchet. No, 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 There's no, about five of them. Five of them, yeah. Yeah. 14, 14. And I like the fact that with with this uh, Thailand culture, is the fact is that, especially for women, is that, and that's why I look forward to the day we see a woman jump smash and go forward and stuff. So, who, who wrote the rule that women shouldn't be able to do these kind of things mm. that, that Ratchanak is doing? You know, yeah. who 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 who, has, who said that? You know, and we just. Oh, of course, Wang Jian, while we're talking about it, is coming back, but uh, um, why shouldn't, you know, why shouldn't we have a player like Ratchanak that can do so many things? Yeah. Well, Wang Yi Han had a little run like this in the opening game, didn't she? She won nine of ten points here. She's just won eight of nine. From 6.13 down. Sixteen. That's pretty hard as well. Harder than Andy Murray's fastest serve yeah. in the Wimbledon final this year. And that's with a little bit of disguise in it, though. Yeah.
it's wide. Uh, just missed it. 16. Hun Hun going into the lead. Funny that both games, Ratchanuk has got stuck around the 14 15 mark. That was a good shot, though. 17, right idea. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that waiting. Just a little stick smash. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very good. He's actually controlling the game right now, uh, Wang Jahan. Yeah. 17. And see, that's one of the ways you can take away Ratchanok's game, is that you are constantly on top of her. what she wants to try and do, bring her opponent forward, making a twist and turn, and just trying to push her to the back, sound tactics. More tempo in Wang Jian Han right now. Mm, right, good play by the former world champion. She's earned her two game point opportunities. that you were talking about, Jim. Quite clear that Wang Yihan desperate to try and keep that going, but the retrieving there from the 18-year-old, absolutely superb. 
Uh, had two game point opportunities in the first and couldn't convert Wangi Hunt. Second game point opportunity here right now. Super. This time she does convert, and it is one game apiece. 21 19, the second game to the former champion here, Wang Ihan. You can quite clearly see what Jim was talking about with the pan handle grip. 50 minutes of play, and it's one game all. ไม่หัวหยอกมันหยอดแน่เพราะเข้าใกล้หยอดกับกล้าผักเร็วบ้างเปลี่ยนจังหวะบ้างต้องคิดเร็วอ่ะปุ๊บใช่ป่ะเออ
Wangi Han really is using the full width of the court more than she did in the opening game, yeah. isn't she now? And that's what she yeah. needs to do. Yeah. She needs to use, you know, to make the the court bigger. I think uh, Ratchanak is too skill, skillful if it's a small court. So see here, there's too many yeah. weapons, especially in, a, in the flat part. With where four, three. And I've talked about it before as well, so Jim, that round the head drive that Wang Yi Hun tries to play when really I feel defensively to get herself back into the rally, she should be playing a backhand. Yeah. And so often she gets herself into trouble. He has to be careful. I think Ratchanak has seen that now. But when Five, when Rang Ihan has the chance, he will try and drive it to uh, Ratchanak's forehand. Maybe a little bit of a block, straight block, or maybe play past and to, to the backhand side again. Ratchanak is reading the game too well. It's becoming a very intriguing battle. Four, Missed it. Mm. That I just <laughs> sensed was an important rally. Yeah. Long, and you can see on your hand, rally. On your hand, the relief of that being out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she felt that too. How many times in this tournament have you seen uh, that being on the line? and into the lead. It's good defence. Yeah. It's mm. a little look from Wang Yi Han back to her coach, Chang Ning. As if to say, well, that's what you told me to do. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, well played. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah down the line. Thought for a moment she'd overdone it. Yeah. But no, that was nice. Seven, She's got an off slice six. for it to, to take the pace off. That's, oh, that's a perfect shot. That's what you want with a slice. The more the sl you slice, the more pace you take, so take off the shuttle. appeared to have given up on the rally there. Yeah. Well, the match clock ticks over the hour mark. And it's one game all and seven all. skills <laughs> first of all but you see, and you can just see that's you know you can see a man Jan. she's not used to somebody being able to do shots from down the, uh, under the net so she's moving back saying ah that can only be a left but that's not coming that's phen phenomenal Badminton right now. Yeah. Oh. And suddenly a slow drop yeah. from nowhere. And it's, it's 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 incredible to see that actually win the third set, and I actually think they're picking up the pace right now. Yeah. It's it's um, yeah. Amazing. Both of them are just looking for that little gap. the slice again oh yeah and so quick forward yeah. and you see now she's making different um, uh, uh, different tactical things now she's, before she was pushing all the time from the net now she just waits uh, you can you can see that Ratanak is already down in, in in the squat position waiting for the drive and then she just waits and play and blocks it to the net quality play by a young
There we go again. Time and time again. There's nothing lucky about that. No. It's just practice skill. But the, prob the problem for opponents against Ratanok is that you can say, ah, I've seen that now. I'm going to go a little bit to cover the cross one. But she never misses the straight smash either. So mm. you can't really. The one thing you can do is maybe to play it a little bit higher to the backcourt to give yourself some more time. That's all right. So the advantage at the change of ends, albeit just one point, is with the current world champion. 18 year old. ไปไปสบายไปเรื่อยจับจังหวะให้ดีใช่ป่ะอย่าไปรีบแบบบางทีไปรีบเมย์ไปรีบเมย์ไปรีบเออรีบมันดักเออรีบมันดักจะเย็
again. It's totally Wang Yihang is taking control the pace at the minute. One thing I noticed is she's, every time she's playing the nets, or after a smash, she's keeping the net and enforcing Ratchanok to either play it back or just lifting it back to Wang Yang. So she's keeping the, can you say, she's keeping the control of the match. She's not yeah. giving her these drives anymore. Um, see, just blocking it. Well, six of the last seven six points six. have gone in favor of the former champion Wang Yi Hunt. Playing really well. Yeah, it was good disguise on it, wasn't it? Good yeah. trajectory. Well, a little, little bit the same now as in the first set, where she had that gap, you know, two easy mistakes. But then again, you know, she's under pressure. She has to play the shots precisely, or else Ratchanok will uh, take control of it. And there we see again, she just keeps the net. And see, as soon yeah. as he gets into that game, that you know, Ratchan and Sugar. I, I, I don't think it's the game that Wang Yang should play, you know? See, she's playing straight to Ratchanok all the time. She, she's, she's just too good to that. That's been, you know, two mistakes and two drives now, and then we're all square. smashes and pay it back to the deep court there and it was woefully short got what it deserved opened up a two-point cushion again now on your hunt Was there so early? The opportunity was there. Patience. A little bit of patience there from Fang Yang. Oh, 
physically making herself work and work. Oh, God, her work ethic. Wally Hunt. Two points away from a fourth final here at the Denmark Open. Match points have arrived. Oh, she had to be awfully careful. She didn't take that before it crossed over the net. Yeah. Well, no, she was fine. Three match point opportunities. sheer guts and determination in that semi-final from the former champion Wang Yi Han. Coming from a game down. And in fact she had two game point opportunities in the opening game, failed to convert, but she didn't let that had a negative psychological effect, kept to her resolve, came back 21-19, 21-17 in the second and third, a match lasting an hour and 17 minutes. Well, do not write off the former world champion. The game is without doubt developing. Yeah, in a new is. direction, with skill level going even higher. And nice to see Wang Yang back. In yes. That, uh, well, that was really impressive, the last two sets, yeah, especially at the end of the third set. I really, she showed great pace and aggressiveness and some really good net skills. So. Yep, so she's through to her fourth final here at the Onyx Denmark Open, champion three years ago. Overhead winners, look at those from Arachinuk. And in fact, from. Look at the difference in serve high and low. Yeah. Um, that's incredible to see, actually. But yeah. But I think the game shows how equal it actually was, you know. Oh, man. Of course, Rachinuk, a lot of these overhead winners. She's famous for. But actually, Wang Yang uh, having a lot of it herself, so. Well, there you can see that she will play against the number six seed, Sung Ji Hyung of Korea in tomorrow's final. Sung Ji Hyung overcoming the Asian Games gold medalist Wang Shashian in two straight games. Of course, Sung Ji Hyung already won a Premier Super Series this year. Should be a terrific final tomorrow.
Please welcome the umpires and court officials to call number one. So the next semi-final will be men's doubles and between the four players they've won the title here at the Yonex Denmark Open for the last three one years. One. New men's pairing doubles. of Lee and Yu up against the very established pair of Bo and Morgan.